I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Day of Silence is a national student-led demonstration where LGBTQ students and allies all around the country take a vow of silence. This vow of silence is to protest the harmful effects of harassment and discrimination of LGBTQ people in schools. Started in the mid-90s by two college students, the Day of Silence has expanded to reach hundreds of thousands of students each year in the U.S. and abroad. Every spring, students go through a school day without speaking, ending the day with Breaking the Silence events. At the Breaking the Silence events are where students share their experiences during the protest and bring attention to ways their schools and communities can become more inclusive. SAGE invites you to take a stand against discrimination and oppression by participating in the MHS Day of Silence this Friday, May 12th. Can't be silenced? That's okay. Speaking participants are important too. So this Friday morning, look for volunteers passing out buttons and cards at each main entrance for speaking and non-speaking participants. Standing up against hate and oppression isn't easy, but there's strength in community. And know that the staff of MHS will always stand with you. I'll, I'll always stand, stand with you. you. Hey Cardinals, stick around to the end of the announcements to see if you've won a free Chick-fil-A meal. Good morning, Cards! Happy Burt Shirt Friday! I'm Vera. And I'm Nikki. Let's, Let's begin, begin your, your daily, daily announcements. announcements. It's the final day of the Staff Appreciation Week. Today, we're thanking our admin team. Thank you for your leadership. And we're also shouting out our paraeducator team. Thanks for helping us celebrate the amazing staff at MHS all week. Hey, we're number one. Niche.com has ranked Middleton High School as number one high school in Dane County and number two high school in all Wisconsin. Go MHS! Are you interested in competing against other grades and staff to be crowned the dodgeball champions of MHS? Minds Matter is raising money for Mental Health America through a dodgeball tournament May 25th during ASR2. If you'd like to be one of the lucky players to compete, use the QR code on your screen to sign up. Didn't finish your pet furniture? Having a tough time sleeping? We've got your solution. Back by popular demand, Ms. Berman will be back in the Makerspace next Friday to demonstrate how to make pillowcases and help you finish your pet furniture. Come join us during ASR 1 and 2 in the Makerspace on Friday, May 19th. All right, today um, is a very special day because one of our teachers has a birthday, a very special teacher of ours, Frau Vogel. Uh, yeah, May 12th, let's go. Um, Frau Vogel, I want to wish a happy birthday to you, and all of the German students want to wish a happy birthday to you. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, Frau Vogel. Have a great day. That's all from us today, but let's see who won a free Chick-fil-A meal. We've got Jack Hutchison in 10th grade and Caleb Ressler in 12th grade. Congratulations. Thank you for having perfect attendance. Stop by the Phoenix Support Center to pick up your free Chick-fil-A meal card. And again, you don't have to enter the giveaway in any form. Just have no unexcused absences or tardies and you're automatically entered. Thank you for watching till the end and thank you guys for having perfect attendance. Bye. I'm Ooze Trost. And I'm dead inside. And, and this, this is, is the fake news. news. This week I ask, where is baby? Wait, R Ryan? Um, baby bunny passed away about three months ago. Wait, what? Um, yeah. No. This week I ask, when will Krishna get kicked off the daily announcements? Never. Congrats to everyone on finishing your AP tests. If you want to know how you did, I have an answer key right here. I will now read off the answers to every single question of the AP Human Geography exam proctored by the College Board. 
It's a big day in the scientific community. Scientists have discovered a new ancient species that once roamed the Earth based on multiple DNA samples and diagnostics. Here's an image of what we are currently assuming it must have looked like. I'm deeply ashamed of myself. In my last appearance, I read a book. But I now realize high schoolers don't read books. I mean, they don't do that. I actually have something real for once. I learned about a guy named Tunnel Bob recently. I'm guessing a few people here might have heard of him. Since the early 70s, he has been wandering the steam tunnels below UW-Madison. These tunnels are highly dangerous and were built in the 1800s. Even still, Bob explores them. His reason being simply that they are, in his words, interesting. They are. In recent news, Californian daycare trending on Twitter after staff there were arrested for smuggling sugar to feed the kids in result of being out of food for snack time. In other news, interest rates are at an all-time high. This is affecting new homeowners in ways not seen since 2007. At nearly 7%, they are the highest since 2002. However, interest rates and fake news are at an all-time low, affecting nothing but my self-esteem. I'm saddened to report that the doomsday clock has, has reached midnight. All right, all right, all right, hey, hey, hey. That's it, that's it. So, really, this is right. really according to all the modern news, there is no the way a bee should be able to fly. It's tiny little wings. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm Oz Trost. And I'm Ryan Brenner. Be of course and this, this has, has been, been the, the fake, fake news. news.